What's up world? Just another quick one for you, another quick little tutorial on how to fix the IL2CPP error for Roller Champions. Now this mainly has to do with your antivirus or antivirus software. It basically puts the file into quarantine and then it removes the file and so the game doesn't have access to it. Now I'm going to show you how to add it with Windows Defender as I don't have a third party antivirus but I'm going to display several different antiviruses and how to actually add the setting to allow it to bypass. Now my recommendation first off is to uninstall any third party antivirus and just use Windows Defender. You don't need it. They're not good products. These things are not helping you. They cause performance issues. Again, I'm just some random guy on the internet so who am I? But <clears throat> Windows Defender is just fine. If you don't want to do that, if you want to keep your third party antivirus, then keep it. If so, just uninstall, turn on Windows Defender, which is just as simple as typing in Windows Defender and it will pop up Windows Defender Firewall and you turn it on, etc. There's a lot of tutorials on that. Anyways, let's get down to it. So, if it's happening with Windows Defender, which I haven't seen, but if it's happening with Windows Defender, we're going to come over here and we're going to type in Windows Security. Perfect. Windows Security, it'll pop up and we'll get this here. We're going to go ahead and click on Virus Protection and then we're going to head down to the Manage Ransomware Protection. And if this is on already, uh, there will be a section, but if you want to go ahead and turn this on, click here to turn it on. Now, I, I again, I wouldn't have this on um, unless you really want to, but if it's causing you issues, then I would turn this on. And then we're going to click here and to allow apps. We're going to go ahead and click allow an app, and we're going to click browse all apps. And you're going to head to the game directory. It's probably going to be under something like program files. Uh, mine's under games, I, so I, I kind of have like little subsets for myself and then Roller Champions here. And then we're going to go ahead and click on Roller Champions itself and you'll click open. And then it will add a little tab here and it will say, you know, yada yada yada, it's been added. But, let's look at other antivirus tools that aren't just Windows Defender, so we can apply it to there as well. I'll pop up some images on the screen now. But basically, each of these are going to be a little bit different for every antivirus. So first one I'm going to go ahead and show off is ESIT smart security mainly because this has a pretty extensive uh, images that I can find online you could also probably YouTube this pretty simple so it looks like it's an advanced setup and we're going to go to the detection engine exclusions and we're going to edit the disc uh, the in exclusions rather and then we can uh, put in the exclusion in this file again this image isn't very clear but you can kind of see it shows off the path we click OK and it will add. Now we're going to go into Avast Security, which looks like this is in Settings, General, Exceptions. They they seem to inter intertwine the same term, exceptions and exclusions. It means the same thing. They're both just giving the file a pass through the security. They're through the antivirus. So here again, we go through General Settings Exceptions. And we're going to add the exception. You're going to want to navigate to that exact folder and either select Roller Champions application or pick the folder itself. Whichever one you can do, both should work just fine. Now we'll move on to Norton Security, another major security uh, antivirus tool. This looks like it's just in the top right in the settings tab. And then you can type in for the search, you can type in exclusion and it will give you the auto protect exclusion. And you can go through those settings again I'm gonna have a list of what you should go through for each of these securities in the description separate it out so that you can read them all and figure out which one you're at and again if you guys have any other antivirus tool that you have I will look into it and I'll post on how to how to fix that hopefully and we have one more which is McAfee some people have McAfee it is a probably one of the second most popular Norton I'd say probably is popular and then Vast being third so McAfee here, it looks like, is just in the settings section, and then under threat prevention, there is an exclusion tab. We're going to click on that, and then now we can add the file path. And here, again, you have to add the exe, but it says file name or path, meaning that you can just add that Roller Champions game path, so you can add the entire thing. You don't have to add the exe file, which some of them, they make you add the actual application file. That one, I would just add the entire folder. That way, it just passes it all through, no matter what. Next, and the last step, is people don't... Th this is where people are getting, I think, it wrong. They disable the antivirus, and they're like, oh, wow, we're, we're good to go. No. 
after you make the exclusion, after you either uninstall the antivirus, whatever it is, you're going to want to come into your Ubisoft Connect and then click this bottom tool right here for more actions. When you get done here, you're going to want to click verify files. What happens is the antivirus tool more than likely quarantined the ILCPP folder entirely, and it might have even deleted it. And sometimes when things get quarantined, they get pulled out, they get compressed, they get the, the file changes, the file format changes, it doesn't always get put back. So basically you're, you're missing some files that, that your, your antivirus took it out, it put it in like some sort of holding area, and then it says, hey, do you want to remove it or allow it? And sometimes antiviruses just immediately delete stuff. They all do different things. So you're going to want to come down to verify files after we're done with all the other steps previously. This will then add that folder that entire folder that il2 cpp folder back which will fix should fix all the problems but all right guys i appreciate it again i made this tutorial because i didn't see other ones i did see one other tutorial for this but it didn't have voice so i figured i'd make one with voice in case people have trouble with visual learning and need something to be more of a sound-based learning experience all right guys i appreciate it audible right so anyways until the next one Deuces.